Stay a while and listen. Hello, welcome back to The Freak Show. Bumpy McSquiggums here. I want to thank you all for joining me as I continue with my Let's Play of the Alliance Alive HD Remastered. We are going to go around and talk to everybody in the little little tavern towny thingy here and see what they have to say before I guess we'll head upstairs and do the same and then we get to leave. So, we'll see. You can level up the guild by increasing the number of its members. There aren't many people here now and there's no one to handle recruiting. Interesting. Do you know anything about that huge wall over there? I hear that humans who were captured by beast folk are kept locked up in the prison beyond that wall. It's a harsh world. All I can manage to do is just get by. Yeah, you, me, and everybody else, it seems. Ooh, you got a sparkly thing. What's up? I'm a Sinomancy salesman, so will you buy something? Oh yeah, that's right. You don't have an an Ethrak equipped? Ethracked? You an Ethracked, probably. Uh, then you can't use a Sinomancy, so be careful. What? What is this stuff? This is great. I don't know. Do I want these things? I I I, I don't. I have no idea. I don't think I want these things right now. So we'll come back to you, Sinomancy guy. This is the Recon Guild headquarters. The Recon Guild supports adventurers through our daily efforts in wild monster... Oh, it's you, Galil. I'm so used to having to give the official speech. Ha <laughs> ha. Yeah. Rough stuff all around. A while back, I was chased by this crazy huge monster. It was so scary. Okay, thank you. Do you know about water devils? I do not. Nope. I don't know. Water devils are those shadows that you can see lurking underwater by the shore. Some people say that they were born from the dark current. We know for sure, though, that they're scary and really strong. If you want to stay alive, you'll keep away from the water. Will I, though? I mean, I probably will. Let's be honest. Be careful on your way back. Especially you, Azura. Who knows when this guy will try something fun- Oh, yeah, yeah, you already- you did that thing, and that's not a... Mm -hmm, yeah. Hey. I went exploring in Living Forest to the northwest. I mean, the Living Forest the other day. I heard this eerie voice coming from the forest depths. You think it's that tree person from the rumors? I don't know the rumors, so I couldn't speculate. If you're going to... If you're going on a long journey, you better buy some armor. First, you should at least pick up a rain cap and rain shoes. Oh, that's armor these days, is it? Okay. Okay, and then I haven't talked to Grandma over here. Oh, you're the inn. Can I go upstairs? <gasps> I totally can. Now, let's talk to the people at the counter. Hello? Welcome to the item shop. Ooh. Ooh, we got some money. Uh, so, what, what do I have right now? R1 brings up the party. Square brings up the menu. That's a that's an odd choice. It's usually triangle. Okay. On the main menu, you can perform various commands needed to play the game, like changing equipment, learning talents, viewing different types of information, and organizing the party. Yeah. No, that's that's what I'm here for. Here you can change equipment like weapons, armors, and accessories. And you can view more details on this under changing equipment in the guidebook. Yep. All over it. It's a light sword, guard spear, and a tunic. I'm really offering a whole lot. Four armor and six weight. Apparently weight is going to be a thing. And you also have a tunic. Okay. Okay, so I do need to, to, to item... Who are you? Stop it. Stop it. Welcome. This is the gill shop. Wait, what? Oh my gosh, I'm sorry, I'm having a hard time clicking on that guy. There we go. Yeah. Alright, buy rain cap. Rain shoes. I have enough to get one for each. Alright, whatever. We're, we're gonna be fine, I probably. Uh, this button, equipment. Head, rain cap. Tunic, rain... Oh, remove. Uh-oh. Oh, was it rain shoes? It was rain shoes. I'm sorry. 
rain hat and range. Oh, I like that we have multiple armor things. I thought we only had one. I didn't really look at everything. 100%. Oh, that's cool. Uh, accessories are actual items that we can use in combat. Is that is that right? What medicine? What does it do? Item info. It's a heal. I mean, that's what I assumed it did. Uh, that slightly heals lost uh, HP lost in combat. All right. Well, I think that's probably a good thing to have. And what else can we do? What is a flat bread? When, when eaten, ginger cookie raises agility when eaten. Hmm. It damages an enemy when smashed. I mean, I guess I could do two medicine. That doesn't seem out of uh, the ordinary. Maybe a ginger cookie for you. I I don't know. We're real broke right now, though, so that's cool. All right, in talk to me. Aren't you tired? Why don't you stay and rest? Oh, it's free. Oh, and I can save right there. That's awesome. You know, what? I'm gonna do that. I don't have an official save file yet. I was on a quick save, and I was like, oh no, I was worried for a minute. Yeah. All right. Cool. And I'm gonna stay for free. So we'll get back our one point that we lost, I guess. I'm cool with that. Do I want to say? I mean, I'll do it again. I I suppose. Look at him, just walking. I, the, the the presentation of this game is just it's really cool. I like it a lot. It looks like you're really re-energized. Go out there and give it your best today. I will try. Thank you. I appreciate that. All right, what are we doing up here? There's more people. What's up? This doesn't work, but neither does that. This way is not good, but then the other way. Oh, by the way, I'm the guild master of this tower. No, I'm not loafing around. I'm analyzing all the data that we've gathered. Cool. Quiet. We're holding an information analysis conference. Uh, okay. What's up? No, that's wrong. He who controls information controls the world. Is that true? I feel like that's not true. Every day I listen to their conversation while I just sip my tea. It's become my daily routine. Cool. What's up? If you like, you can rest in the rooms on the third floor. Should you decide to take a rest, please make arrangements on the first floor. Can I pull this lever? No? Alright, that's cool. We leaving. We about to be up out in this place. Alright, so, um... I'm not sure what we need to do next, honestly. Um... Obviously we have to leave here, but I... Oh, okay. We got the triple dot going. Hey, Galil, aren't you at least a little interested? Oh. Uh, I already said I wasn't going to try anything. A and I believe you. But I was talking about the painting of the blue sky at the ancient museum. If it really exists, I want to see it. Hmm. Hey, Galil, take me there. I know you can be stubborn once you've made up your mind, but still... Fine, if you won't take me, then I'll go there by myself. Eh. <sighs> Yay! Yeah, I know that feeling, buddy. Now let's head toward the ancient museum, Galil. Whoa, hold on, Azura. Let's make sure we have the right directions. Renzo said it's southwest. Hmm, southwest. Southwest is... It's that way. This is going to be exciting. Oh, jeez. Tactical instructions you've already won has been added to the guidebook. What? Southwest is what way? I I, I can I assume that that north is at the top of the map or the. Well, hold on, we have a map button, right? No, the map doesn't work. So this is north. So yeah, southwest would absolutely be over that way. Okay. Do we have a run button? I, I don't, oops, I don't remember. I don't think so. I want to fight the spookum ghost. Get me, spookums. Let's go. Oh, he's adorable. Adorably dead. Shigga shigga schwaz. Alright. 
Oh, you hit me with a tiny claw. What man? What are you doing? Hit me with a tiny claw. I'm gonna poke you again, man. She needs a better weapon. I think I might want to switch to whatever her other weapon is, because that one's just not doing it for me. HP increased. Very nice. Uh, HP went up to 55. We got some money and some talent gain. Uh, talent. That was a thing, right? Talents. Here you can learn talents for each character. You can view more details. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh my god. Wow, there's a lot of stuff here. Sigil novice. Man. So like right now, you are a novice with swords. Okay, so what is this? Learning rate of new sword arts increases. How many points do we have? Oh, we have a fair amount. It looks like it's shared between all the party members. Okay, there's unarmed weaponry too? That's kind of neat. I'm moving, what does this do? Enemies, enemies will be less likely to detect you while on the map. More effective if learned by multiple members. Okay, that's good to know. Surprise attack, now easier to land a preemptive attack without having to sneak behind the enemy. Activated if learned by even one person. Okay. Less likely for enemies to land preemptive attacks, even if snuck up from behind. And haggling. You can purchase items at a discount at all shops. Interesting. Shield. He's already a novice of shields and spears, was it? Yes. Interesting. And then we have abilities. HP growth, uh, SP growth, battle prep up to 20% SP restored. That's interesting. When your SP is 20% or below, your SP is restored up to 20% of its max. Okay, so you always have a little bit. 30 and then 50. During battle, SP recovers two points each turn. That's not bad. There's some cool abilities and things here. I like this. Alright, so what are you uh, rocking? What are your skills? Because you're not really talented with the sword. You have a, a talent with the staff. And a sigil. Good to know. I think we'll leave the stats and things behind for right now. Uh, here you can check the ability of battle arts and spells that you've learned. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Leg crush, okay. Healing sigil. Spear is beast spike and M passant. And then the roundhouse kick. Okay. Okay, and Azura has a knife, which is considered what exactly? That's a sword, okay. So if we we're gonna give her, you know what, it's fine. Like I said, it's, it's a little early on to really, to really hunker down and figure out what's going on. Oh, it turned on us. It's bubbly. Look at it. It's all bubbly. Now right, we got slash, and then we can switch to our spear. Hmm. Let's go with slash. Punch, medicine, medicine, the knife. Oh, then there we go. Okay. Um. Let's go with the hard knock. Yeah, let's go for it. Oh, we got bit. It's fine. Not that worried about it. 21 points of damage, 11 points of damage. Alright. He's moving just a little bit quicker than us. But he got got. Plus 3 to our talent point. Okay, it's fine. Oh, oh, it done sees us. Ooh, battle chain of two. I wonder what that means. I mean, I'm sure we'll be fine, but I'm very curious. So we have to fight battles back to back. A battle chain has begun. You'll now fight a series of battles in a row. That's awesome. You can't flee in the middle of a battle chain. But there's good news, too. You get bonus talent points if you win. That is good news. Let's, uh, let's put you on your butt. Let's do the same to you.
get a tiny claw out there. How uh, hurt are we right now? 53, I'm not worried about it. Put you down. Easy. Next. Final battle to Battle Street. Oh, this is really cool. Awaken. Sword blade block. What? What does that do? Talent info. Uh, doesn't really give me much information. I mean, like, I get the idea. Oh, you can increase the speed of the combat, too. Oh, I don't want that. Sorry. Cool. Got through it. No big deal. So we got 13 so and 9 points, which is really good. And we got blade block learned. And I am actually quite curious. Uh, it's the next one, right? Yeah, this. Fend off enemy attacks with your sword. The higher your strength, the better your defense will be. Cool. Um, I'd also like to play around with our positioning a little bit. Here you can switch formations and change character position. Uh-huh. Front. I was just wondering if her attack is higher with the lineup. So it doesn't look like we can actually make a custom formation. Um, interesting. All right, you know, I guess we're going to leave it the way it is right now. That's fine, probably. We seem to heal up after every battle, too, which is interesting. Is the Spookum's ghost going to go away? Oh, he noticed me. Is there a way to sneak up on people? Because I, I don't seem to be able to do it. Alright, SP increased. Cool. By one. Take it, I guess. Yeah, see, they seem to know as soon as we get within a certain range. So there is no back attacks for us. Reverse C learned, okay. Cool. Gain some more money and some more talent points. Oh no, we have individual talent points. It's not from a... a, a, a pool for everything, apparently. That's so when you do... Okay, okay. Huh, what's that tower? It's the library guild tower. You didn't know? Uh, I've heard about it. Uh, Dad would be so disappointed in you. The library guild is where they keep records of things like geography, monsters, and items. Jeez, you should have known all this already. Oh, but they might have some info about the ancient museum. Should we try stopping by? The Library Guild Tower will now support you in battle. The start of your turn, sometimes real-time analysis activates to lower the defense of all enemies. You can check enemy details during battle for weaknesses, resistances, item drops, and other info about enemies you've encountered. Okay. This is the Library Guild. We transmit monster information. Dude, that was so fast. That was so fast. something shiny over there. I have to go to it. I'm sorry. Oh, hold it, Galil. Hmm? What's wrong, Azura? You can't just walk near water. People have gone missing after getting swallowed by water devils. That's true. We'd better be careful. Oh! 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 Okay. Well, they weren't kidding about walking near water. Okay, okay. We're not going anywhere near water then. Oh. Well, that was horrifying. I, 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 was, not ex I was expecting some things, but that was definitely not one of them. It's a library guild. We transmit monster information and are starting to offer analysis services. So you can't sneak up on them, you just have to walk slower. 
I seize the initiative. Your party's action speed is increased. Yeah, it is. What is reverse C? Doesn't really tell me again. Alright. I don't want to change. Okay, sorry. I'm, I'm hitting the wrong buttons. I'm sure you're shocked. Oh, real time analysis complete. Cool. Didn't matter in the end. I mean, we just kind of obliterated it, but. Ooh, we got a Feyhound main. Uh, main, yeah. Alright, her HP went up. Good, good, good. An item gain. Do you think that's a, like a ring or something? It's cool that we can walk through the trees. I didn't know we could do that. So we're already learning quite a bit of stuff that's going on right now. This is, this is a neat game. I like this so far. I really do. Um, let's check. Is there an items thing? It must be here. You can view information on the items you possess. Consumable items can be used from the screen. Uh huh. It's an accessory, and a tuft uh, from a Feyhound's mane said to ward off evil. It raises resistance to heat and cold. Well, that sounds useful. I think I'm gonna put the ginger cookie away. I'm gonna take the Feyhound main. Yeah, there it is. All right, let's head over to this thing, and then I will probably end up having to break off the episode, to be honest. But that's okay. I said we're just kind of getting our feet wet. We're walking around enjoying this. Is this the library guild tower? Yeah, I'd say it probably is. Maybe that person is the guild master. Let's ask her about the ancient museum. Welcome to the Library Guild. If there's something you're researching, please speak with the concierge next to me. Oh, you wouldn't happen to be Wyatt's daughter, would you? Um, do you know anything about the Ancient Museum? Hmm, the Ancient Museum? Ah, you mean the ruins found on top of that mountain beyond here? Right. I know of it because those beast folks have been... I guess folk. Those beast folk have been clearing a path there till recently. However, even if you travel there, I don't think they will allow you to go inside. My grandmother, uh, <clears throat> our leader, asked to investigate a few days ago. Uh, but the beast folk turned her away. She wasn't very happy about that. Well, it looks like we can't even get in. Well, we may as well go home. We're definitely getting in. Uh, we still don't have any details, but one of the explorers here was from the Recon Guild. Made a copy of a map he found at the ruins. You can bring it with you if you'd like. Really? You don't mind? It's fine, just don't do anything dangerous. Yes, ma'am, we'll be safe. Oh boy. I acquired a museum map. Thank you, I assume it stands for ancient. Be careful, okay? Alright, little girl, talk to me. G. If there's a document that you'd like to peruse, we'll bring it to you. What kind would you like to view? Nope. Uh, be careful, don't do anything dangerous. You hear me? What do you got? If we could finish analyzing our treasured ancient tome, Lost Codex, then we could rediscover long-lost sigil spells. However, we just don't have the manpower to do it. Boo hoo hoo. This is the Library Guild. Here, we check and compile the latest information as well as preserve the great works of the past. Indubitably. Hello. You can level up the guild by increasing the number of its members. With the truth is we have recruits lately. Hello. I'm in charge of selling library cards, but they aren't ready for sale yet. Well, that's awkward and weird. Hello. I'd like to go exploring here and there myself, but I just can't travel on foot at my age. Ah, if only there was some amazing ship that could sail through the sky. Indeed. Wait. Aren't you tired? Why don't you take a rest? Everybody's for free. Heading up. Resting rooms, blah, blah, blah. Okay. What's up? Um, it's really hard to ask you this, but could you not talk to me? I'm trying to read. Oh, thanks. From time to time, you ever think about positions? 
Attack, guard, support. If you don't understand the basics, you won't live to a ripe old age like me. Uh-huh. There are so many old, interesting books here. One story is about a beast folk prince who was so arrogant he was cursed to live as a hideous human. And another is about a beast folk princess who ate a poison apple from this evil Cynomancer. Uh-huh. Yeah, no, that's... Okay. Don't get close to the forest nearby. The danger is there isn't the water devils. It's the giant blue spider I came across the other day. Yep. Yep. Yep, nothing's more evil than spiders. You know, I don't disagree with you. Spiders are pretty nasty. Alright, ladies and gentlemen, I think that is going to do it for this episode. We went from one tower to the next, but we did all the talking this time. We had to go out and do the murder the next time. And hopefully level up some more. Uh, there's a lot of little things about this that we'll have to learn as we go, but... So far, I love the intricacies of just the different, like, level up. And, you know, you, you use your skill, your weapon over and over, and you unlock new skills, and you have the ability to make the skills better, and the different point systems. I don't know how we're healing necessarily after each battle, but there's, lights, like, lots of little things, and the fact that there are so many little things puts us a step above a lot of other games where you're like, okay, go, oh, look, your HP's low, oh, we have to go back to town and rest. Oh, but you have a healer with you, so now you can use all your SP, or your MP, your magic, whatever, to go and heal your character up. And, oh, now it's time to go back to town. Like, this is definitely more advanced and more complicated and more complex than that. And I like it. I like it a lot. All right, folks, until the very next episode, my name is Bumpy McSquiggums. Thank you so much for stopping by the Freak Show, and I will see you later.